Understanding the significance of the day of the Lord helps us understand the promises of God and his plan for fulfilling them as he ushers in his kingdom on earth. We're going to examine some New Testament uh, prophecies regarding the day of the Lord to help us understand about the return of the Messiah and the coming kingdom. The day of the Lord is the most important prophetic time described in the Bible. The day of the Lord is referred to so frequently in the Old and New Testaments that the writers often refer to it as simply that day or the day. However, it's always important that we look at the whole context of the passage before we make that determination. We're now going to look at some of the New Testament prophecies and uh, references to the Day of the Lord, so we be sure we understand. Being familiar with some of the titles used for the Day of the Lord also helps us understand its significance in the biblical message. It's called the Judgment Day, the Great Day, the Day of Reckoning, the Day of Salvation, the Day of Wrath, the Day of Battle, the day of the Lord Jesus, the day of God, the day of Christ, the day of God Almighty, the day of the Lord, when the Lord himself returns. Anyone unfamiliar with the day of the Lord and its significance will not understand the biblical message. We're going to examine some New Testament passages so that we get an understanding of its significance to the gospel and the promises of God and what he has in store for his people as he prepares to usher in his kingdom on earth. Again, we know that Christ will return on the day of the Lord, but when is the day of the Lord? Now we know that Christ returns on the day of the Lord, and some people say, well, you can't know when he's going to come. But is that what the Bible says? Let's read what Paul writes. Brothers, you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But wait a minute. Then he says, but you brothers are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. He's saying that they will not be surprised by the day of the Lord. They will see it coming. Of course, Christ gave us many signs and events that he said would take place before his return and the end of the age, and he told them to keep watch. You brothers are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. The church will see it coming. Paul wrote a second letter to the Thessalonians so that they could understand for sure when the Lord would return. He said, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you brothers not to become easily unsettled, alarmed by some prophecy or report or letter supposed to have come from us, saying that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way. That day, the day of the Lord, will not come until after the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed. The man of lawlessness is the Antichrist, and he's revealed when he goes into the temple of God and sets himself up as God, which happens three and a half years before the end of the age. Christ will come after the time of great tribulation after the Antichrist is revealed and after the great falling away that Jesus talked about in the Olivet Discourse. Some people are still being told today that the Lord Christ will return before the time of the Great Tribulation. But listen to what Peter says about the Day of the Lord. The heavens will disappear with a roar, the elements will be destroyed by fire. That day will bring about destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. But keep in mind, with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, a home of righteousness. If the day of the Lord came before the great tribulation, the earth would have to be changed. 
But the Antichrist reigns during the Great Tribulation. With all that we read about the Day of the Lord in the Old Testament prophets and in the New Testament, it's clear that the Day of the Lord cannot come before the Great Tribulation. It can only come after the Great Tribulation, as the Bible states everywhere, where it identifies the timing of the return of the Messiah, also called the Christ, as the last trumpet sounds, as he gathers up his followers in the first resurrection, as he's about to establish his kingdom on earth. You can see from the details described in this presentation regarding the Day of the Lord as recorded in the New Testament, as well as the Day of the Lord as recorded in the Old Testament, that many things that happen on the Day of the Lord cannot happen before the Great Tribulation and can only happen at the return of Christ when he comes, judges the world, gathers up his followers, and establishes the kingdom of God on earth. God gives us signs before the coming day of the Lord and the events of the day of the Lord, which assure us that we will not be deceived if we understand.